Test. Hey, what's up? This is Scott with Level Up Tuts, and today I'm going to give you a brief overview of views so that we can jump in and get started in the next lesson, creating your own view, and then from there getting into more advanced features. So to understand views, I kind of wanted to show you just some examples of what views um, have been created and just sort of give you an idea of the total flexibility that views gives you. So really views is a way to control displaying your content and then you can set up various filters or um, relationships to have that content output the way you want it to um, based on what page you're on or however what content you just need to display at that moment. So, so I've already created in here as I have two featured project ones, one in which has says featured projects here has a large image um, that's linking to the content and then there's the title of the content that's also linking to the content and this is very similar it's just a small image and a title linking to the content so these are both two separate views um, that would are saved as our blocks so um, you create the view in views and then you place it on your website using blocks in another instance if we see here, this is a view right here, this media. This is also a title and an image linking to the content. However, this time the view is saying, pull out two pieces of content, the latest two actually. So it's saying, look for the most recent two pieces of media that have been saved. And this blog roll is actually um, a view as well. And this is also saying, look for the most recent pieces of content first, display the title, then the body, and then a continue reading afterwards. And then this will, uh, you can set this to be like what, like as many as you want, but let's say we have 10 here and then it'll put a pager just like your sort of standard blog roll. So this is also a view. So there's one view here and then another view here. And then uh, let's check out a couple more. So this is the Kresge Foundation website. Um, if you look here, this block of these, these color boxes, uh, this is a view. So each one of these things is a piece of content. So there's 15 pieces of content here. Um, this recent news is also a view. This brings in the four most recent pieces of news and just displays their title. Um, let's see, this right here, this uh, slider here, this is also a view that's bringing in an image uh, title and a summary body text along with a link to the content. So as you can see, uh, views can do a lot. It's does it's pretty much limited by you know what you need it to do. If you need to display your content in some sort of uh, different way than Drupal's defaults, and you want it to be very configurable, uh, views for the most part is the way to go. You can also uh, create a views page that takes an argument from the URL to display that particular content. So. Um, as you can probably guess by now, views are very complicated, but at the same time, it's worth taking the time to really understanding uh, the just views in general. Because once you understand it, it's not hard. Um, it's really not hard at all, but it can be a little bit daunting to start. So what I'm going to do is start at the very basics, and we're going to work through uh, views all over so you can have its advanced features, its basic features, whatever you need. So in the next lesson, we're going to get started with creating our first view, and it's going to be real basic, but it's going to be perfect. So if you have any questions, you know, feel free to leave a comment or hit us up at Twitter at Level Up Tuts. Once again, this is Scott with Level Up Tuts, and thanks for watching.